finish it. If you can't finish it, don't you start it. And I listened to my mama say that a thousand times because she killed everybody. That is 16 of us walking around her there. And uh, I'm looking around at them like, man, y'all heard mama. And that was the first time she ever said that. Don't quit. I thought it was all okay to quit. You know, if you start something and, and, and you, you you really don't, you get tired of it, you don't want to do it no more, just stop. But that wasn't, that wasn't what was happening. That was the wrong word. And she, she made, made sure I understand that that was the wrong word. And I didn't have no more problem with that no more. Because I never did quit no more. Yeah, good times. Well, let's take a quick break. Johnny Tucker, I Can't Wait, takes us into the Blues People soundbite with the voice of the late great Chuck Berry. And we'll be right back. Down to the crossroads. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Blues America. Blues people. Sound bite. The music that we, uh, the blacks, play, uh, have played has, in in sense, was just like culture. The culture was so far apart once that, uh, uh, that you know, what you would have had to had a, a, a slave station in order to play it, you know. But then as the music, as the cultures begin to come together and you begin to see uh, vice versus one in another's uh, vein of life and so forth, then the music came together. Because, you know, where people go, they can carry the cults. And let's say as the blacks begin to get in uh, politics and in clubs and on Broadways, uh, so in, num- in numbers, you see, well, then the music began to be it. And I think that's the way it actually mixed and got over each line. Blues America. Like cornbread and chili. Mmm, doggy. Damn, that's good. Ah, this is Oscar Wilson. Mr. 43rd Street, Chicago, Illinois. And you'll listen to Blues America. in the music bed by today's special guest the great Johnny Tucker and we just heard the Blues People soundbite with the voice of the late great Chuck Berry um, Johnny what is the blues? How do you explain it to people? Well when you really doing that you, you it's, it's hard to, to deal with the audience because 
you're so tied up in doing what you're doing. And and it's really hard to deal with anybody around you that's not dealing with what you deal with. It's hard to deal with that because they, number one, they don't know what you're doing. They can hear what you're doing, but they don't know how you're doing what you're doing. And that takes a lot of learning to do it. If you don't, if you don't sit down and watch out what you're doing, you'll be right back in that boat you was in. You'll be right back because one thing about the blues, it, it don't change. The feeling is always there. You don't get that feeling that's your fault. That is your fault because the blues is not complicated. You play it. That's all you do is play it. It's not complicated. That ain't something that you're thinking about. No, when you hit that note, you hear it. And it'll come to you, baby. I'm telling you, like, just like, wow. That's what you say. You shake your head and say, wow, I didn't know it was going to sound like this. Because it, 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 it's, it's all beautiful, man. It is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. People get a kick out of doing the blues, you know. They, they get a kick out of playing it. They get a kick out of listening to it. And that's, that's why it, it's so shocking to a lot of people when they finally hear it. Then you listen and you say, Baby, how you do that like that? How you make that sound that way? Because it's different from any any kind of music, any other kind of music in the world, man. It is so different. It sounds like it's so easy. It really sounds like it's really easy. When you hear that note, you, you say, oh, man, anybody can make a note like that. But all I tell anybody, try it. That's all you got to do. If you think it's that easy, you try. <laughs> because it's going to tell you something. It, 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 it's going to really tell you something. It's going to tell you how to do things. And you and you got to listen, man. You cannot not listen. Because it's not that easy to play. play. You just ain't going to jump up there and just go to play. Ah, I got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, I ain't worried about it no more. I got it. Man, you get on there and strike that guy out and look at it again, think you got a different instrument in your head. <laughs> because it's, it, it ain't like that, man. It ain't like that. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful instrument, man. And, and don't nobody play it but the blues players. Because you can't strike that strange and, and, and come up with an idea. No, no, no. You have to know what you're doing to come up with it that way. Well, very good. Johnny, I wish we had more time. Um, congratulations on the new album, and it was such a pleasure to talk to you. You too, bro. You can call me anytime. God bless you, too. Oh, thanks, Johnny. And for the listeners, the Way Way Back Blues with Helen Humes is coming up next. Blues America is endorsed by the Phoenix Blues Society. Learn how to become a member at phoenixblues.org. I'm John Primer. And I'm Bob Cortor. You listen to Blues America. What we're going to do right here is go back. Way back. Back into time. It's time to go back, baby. Way, way back. This is the Way, Way Back Blues. Hey! 
Lighten it up, burn it Makes no difference, I don't care Spends most all my money Buying off that Congo lean Spends most all my money Humes with nappy headed blues. Now, she was just a teenager when she cut this for OK Records in about 1927 with the great Sylvester Weaver. Now, Weaver was credited for discovering her the previous year. Now, she would continue to mount an impressive career, becoming a famous jazz vocalist and performing with the likes of Count Basie, Nat King Cole, and R. Tatum. Her music is required for any serious blues fans. Well, this is where the Blues Talks, a little program recorded weekly at the Chico Chisholm Memorial Studio in Phoenix. I've been your host, Drew Verbis. I'd like to thank my special guest, Johnny Tucker. And as always, links to today's special guest is available at our website, bluesamerica.com. Thanks to all the fine community radio stations for supporting the blues. And all of you who are listening, be a patriot and support Blues America. Bye. Promotional consideration for Blues America is provided by the Southwest Musical Arts Foundation, the Phoenix Blues Society, Record High Vinyl, the Rhythm Room Concert Club, Mojo Hand Blues Art Apparel, and the listeners of Public Radio.